Ooh, look what I woke up to. A new look in my office that is for Excel, Word, PowerPoint and other apps. Let me show you how this new look is, what is special about it and what is not so special about it. This is how Excel looks after the new look refresh. The two main differences are the ribbon has this little rounded edges around it and the quick access toolbar is by default shown at the bottom. If you have never customized your quick access toolbar, then it won't even show up. It will be automatically hidden. Within the ribbon itself, they have now put the undo and redo buttons in the top left corner. Let's just quickly jump to PowerPoint. Again, the new look ribbon is kind of similar from how it looks in Excel and Word. Let's go back to Excel so that I can explain more about the new changes. So this new ribbon is apart from the rounded edges and the movement of these undo redo buttons, there is nothing really new here. It's just like think of it like Microsoft applied some fresh paint of coat on the office apps. Apparently this new look is in line with the Windows 11, which I don't have. I'm still running Windows 10. So probably it feels more at home when you go into Windows 11. The key thing for me is the quick access toolbar is a bit more reachable, but it seems like we lose a little bit of screen space for all of these things. Let me show you how Excel looked before this update. To go back, you just have to click on this little upcoming features. And from here, I'm just going to toggle the try new experience thing. It says I need to restart Excel. So I will restart Excel now and I'm back with my old Excel. Notice that the quick access toolbar is still remaining at the bottom, but I could probably move this above the ribbon and this is how Excel looked before. Let me switch back to the new look so that we can talk a little bit more about this new look. One of the things that Microsoft made obvious with this new look is the color scheme of Excel. It has been of course there before, but now this color scheme is synchronized with your Windows color scheme. But I'll show you how to change that. You can go to your account and from here where it says office theme, you can link it to use system setting, which would be the default, but you can also change it to black or dark gray or colorful. Let's just stay on the colorful. You might be thinking, huh, this is all interesting, but my Excel doesn't look anything like this. How do I get access to these features? You can do this from your account option here. Just go to account and from your product information area here, you should notice an Office Insider option. By default, everybody is opted out of Office Insider, but you can click here and join the Office Insider program, which is a free program. The concept of Office Insider is like this. Microsoft Office will release new versions from time to time, and people on the Office Insider program are the first ones to receive these updates. They may not be the final product. There might be one or two bugs in the code, but they will release it so that they can test it out in the wider public. So that is what Office Insider is. Because I talk a lot about technology and Excel in special, I am on the Office Insider program because I would love to see what is coming up and talk about that on my channel as well as on my website. You can also join the Office Insider program. It is a great way to get access to the new features as they become available. Of course, if you don't want to join, whatever I'm showing will eventually show up in your Excel and Office 365 when Microsoft releases it. Let me tell you one pro tip. You can show the quick access toolbar above the ribbon or below. I'll show it below the ribbon. And when you show it at the below the ribbon, by default, every feature has the command written next to it. Now, this might be useful if you are new to Excel, but if you have been using Excel for a while, you might find these words next to them a bit of annoyance because you're not really looking for the word, you're looking for the icon. So you can kind of turn away, turn off that with hide command label option, which will just show the icons there for you. So what do I think about this new look for Excel, Word and PowerPoint? To be honest, I'm not really thrilled about it. It is new, but there is really nothing new there. Of course, there is a little bit of customization ability and the quick access bar does come down so that kind of adds a little bit more to the UI, but that is where it stops. What I would be excited and really thrilled about is if there is some new functions or new types of charts or new ways to make presentations, that is what I would be excited. This new UI is meh, not really exciting.
Because Ribbon is a common interface that you find across many other applications, not just Office applications, we will end up in a situation where Office has this rounded edges look for the Ribbon, but other applications such as Power BI would have regular Ribbon like this. So it creates a bit of inconsistency. And this is where I find that this new look is something that is not really uh, gonna go down very well unless Microsoft somehow updates the Ribbon UI across all the ecosystem of all Windows applications. So yeah, that's what I feel about it. So what do you think? Have you tried this new look? Did you download it onto your computer? Or maybe you just saw my video. What is your reaction? Tell me it in the comments below. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.